how to remove, refit and replace the front windscreen wipers on an Audi A3 2010 second generation. First be aware that you can't actually fully lift up the wiper arm from the windscreen as after about 20 millimeters it comes into contact with the edge of the bonnet. So if you're only replacing the driver's side wiper blade you can actually do this with the bonnet open. As you can see with the bonnet open you can fully lift up the driver's side wiper blade to replace it. But when we look at the passenger side, when you try to lift it up with the bonnet open it comes into contact with the bonnet itself and snags. You could actually get it up by bending it a bit but that would mean if you replaced it you bend the wiper putting it back into place. So I wouldn't recommend that. The recommended method is to put the wipers in the service position which lifts the wipers halfway up the windscreen. Whilst not a major fan of this method, this is how you do it. Go into the car and turn the ignition on. Then turn the ignition off and press the wiper stalk down once. This will activate the wipers to put it into the service position, like so. Now you can safely bend up the wipers to change them, but they are still stuck in the middle of the windscreen. So be aware that when you take the wipers off, the stalks could, if you accidentally knock them, spring down and crack the windscreen. So it's best to put them something on the windscreen to protect it. And what I use is a bit of felt tabletop protector. But you can use anything that's thick enough to protect the windscreen. Lift up the arm and pinch together the knurled section just slightly at the rear of the head of the unit. And taking a firm hold of the wiper, pull or push it away from the clips. And then lift up the front hook just here. To put the wiper blade back on, simply push the hook at the end of the arm back into the cutout recess of the wiper blade and pull back. Then squeeze together the wiper blade and the arm and the clips will clip into place. Then to reseat the wipers, turn the key on and dab the wiper stalk down once and they'll return down to the resting position and that's all there is to it although I must stress if you do take them off too quickly they've got a tendency to just fall out of your hands so take care to hold on to the wipers and so because of this the danger to the glass if you knock them and the difficult stretch if you're taking the wipers off close to the glass in the service position you can actually change the wipers on this car bonnet closed in the wipers resting position you just need a couple of strips of protective tape on the painted edge of the bonnet for each wiper and as I will show you the wipers can actually be taken on and off with a little bit of care in their original resting position. As before I'm using a tabletop protector to protect the windscreen underneath a windscreen wiper which you can see here as a thick felt construction that you can put next to the windscreen. As you can see here you only have to lift the wiper arm up slightly to take the wiper off which I found I could do without even touching the bonnet. And just for a matter of interest these are the original OEM wipers which have a slightly different style of carrier that I showed you before. If I put the two together you can see the difference which have essentially the same mechanism. They just look a little bit different. And here's the fitting of the OEM wipers. and the replacement wipers which in this case are Bosch Aero Twin which fitted and worked very well. Then all you've got to do is repeat on the other side and the job's done. And don't forget to test them thoroughly before venturing out on the road. And thank you for watching. And as always, give us a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.